Women need a seat at the table. They need an invitation to be seated there. And in some cases, where this isn't available, well then you know what? Then they need to create their own table. What's up? Welcome to Conversations with Whitney. I got my tea. Let's jump into it. So I'm a firm believer that women can accomplish whatever they set their mind to. And as a woman who's creating a woman lifestyle brand that's focused on telling women's stories and highlighting their achievements, I find it fascinating how much we've missed out on women's accomplishments and achievements, whether past or present, simply because there's not a lot of platforms that highlight these women's stories or share them. And I feel like if women were able to hear more of these stories, more of these inspirational things that have taken place and seeing how other women have defied the odds and broken barriers, whether past or present, um, it would influence them and inspire them to know that they can go after their goals and their dreams as well. You know, I think that yes, women should be invited to the table. That would be a great thing, uh, especially when you talk about like, when we talk about sports media coverage, right? There's only 4% of women's sports is covered. And that's a sad reality because when you actually look at these female athletes, whether you like them playing sports or not, they all have a story. And at the end of the day, a story of triumph, overcoming something is an inspirational story, regardless of who the gender is. And I think that if more women knew, like if women knew like, hey, did you know the first computer algorithm was created by a woman or that the laser technology that's used and, you know, for cataract surgeries was created by someone named Patricia Bath or the fact that a actress, a Hollywood actress named Hedy Lamarr created the technology that became the precursor for Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Like if women understood like, yo, we've made impact in this world and we've done things that are amazing um, beyond what people even understand I think it would inspire women more to chase their dreams to go after their goals and to achieve you know things at the highest level I mean you're seeing it today right I mean you got a vice president as a woman you have women CEOs uh, you look at GM Motors like it's a woman CEO right you're talking about women who are starting their own businesses women who are you know creating the platforms whether it's on social media or YouTube having their own website their blogs and you're seeing more and more women take the risk to out of their comfort zone and take on the challenge of hey you know i got a story to tell let me tell it and so as someone who's building a woman lifestyle brand whose whole purpose is to share women's stories and to highlight these women and the amazing things they do um it it does baffle me how much we are missing out on that but i think that's the beauty too right because it's like okay here's a need that needs to be you know that needs to be filled and i think when she says and in some cases where this isn't available well then you know what then they need to create their own table. That's what it means. You know, at the end of the day, it's like, okay, you can wait on somebody to, so you can wait on ESPN to be like, you know what, we care about women's sports. Let's go do something about it. Or you can be like a group, like, you know, like the four athletes who came together and their company called together and literally, you know, are putting women's sports stories on the forefront. And I think it's a beautiful thing. These are the things that need to be done. You know what I mean? Like women, do need to create their own platforms and women do need to be able to feel inspired to do that and i think that we miss out on the beauty of what a woman is and the stories that she has because there's so much inspiration and motivation in those stories you know whether it's failures and setbacks and overcoming and and achieving like these are stories that i feel like need to be told you know when you think about someone like a cindy mclaughlin laroni who's like literally breaking records and pushing the limits of what a female not only a female body but a female athlete can do i think these are stories that can inspire younger generations of girls who want to be track stars who want to be athletes themselves and be able to know like oh I can not only be great but I can push the boundaries and go even further than what greatness is like how do I do that right and I feel like these stories will do that for young girls and so when I heard this quote I was like man yes <laughs> like at the end of the day we do need to not only be invited to the conversation, be invited to the table, have space for women, but also as women, if those spaces don't wanna be available, great, go create them and have the confidence and the belief to do it. I feel like there's women today who desire to build businesses, who desire to build companies, who have vision for problems that they see that they wanna solve, but I feel like a lot of fear keeps them from doing it. You know, I know you know female friends of mine that I'm always looking at them, I'm like, oh my gosh, if you could see what I could see, if you could understand what I could understand, you would have the faith to go do this thing like just go do it like don't wait for i gotta have money or i gotta have this or i gotta have that like just whatever it is start small you know what i mean like i would love like if you could understand how my brain works it is probably very creative and innovative but unfortunately my um 
bank account is not matched to my innovations <laughs> and so i would love to do so much more i have so many ideas but i'm like you know what you have to start somewhere and for me it, it was just simply starting with interviewing women asking it hey do you mind me telling your stories and they're like yes and it's the best part of my day because when i hear them say like oh my gosh thank you for telling my story it made me feel important or made me feel seen or this i love this like this was you know a highlight of my year like these things really make me be like oh my gosh like this is amazing simply because because when you tell someone's story, it's like they're being seen. And so I feel like there's so many women out here who one, deserve to be seen because they've accomplished great things that we don't even know about. But also B, there are women who can create and be the innovators and be the next, whether it's you know building a business or creating a product or just simply sharing their voice and their story, um, can create a table that so many other women can come sit at. And the more women we get to sit at the table together, working together, oh man, the beauty of what that can create and so um so yeah i think that as women we have the ability to accomplish great things uh we just got to believe it we got to believe it and then we got to go after it and we got to go do it and i feel like if we do that there's nothing we can't do you know my saying is god is the limit because yeah sky is the limit but i feel like you can do anything if you got god so i always say god is the limit because there's no limitations to what we can do we are limitless but in order to be limitless we got to a believe it and then we got to do the work to achieve it um and so yeah that's my two cents um hopefully if you're listening to this you know you get a little bit of inspiration to get a kick in the butt to like you know all right let me go do my thing let me go chase it let me go figure it out let me go make it happen even if it's just starting with a iphone camera and a mic <laughs> you know what i mean like if you got to go to walmart and buy the cheapest mic there just to get started whatever it is that you want to do just do it you know what i mean because there's so many so many avenues to achieve your goals and your dreams if you want to but you gotta believe and we also have to learn how to work together to help each other achieve and accomplish these things so for me that's going to be continuing to interview women continuing to tell their stories uh continue to reach out continue to send out empowering messages whatever that may be um, but for you that may be something else and whatever that may that calling or purpose is that god has given you whatever that is just go after it you know what i mean because i do think that we live in a day and age where the opportunities are endless if you believe that but if you put yourself in the box because society tells you your story is not worth telling or they limit you because there's not enough platforms to share, then we're going to miss out on the beauty of whatever it is that you could be bringing to the table. So, um, yeah, I guess for me, I believe it this, you know, defy all the odds, break the barriers, be limitless and go after what you believe in. Go after your dreams and don't let anything get in the way of that because the world is waiting for you and it needs you and there are so many women who need your stories and need the inspiration trust me i do so yeah so that's my thoughts um if you stuck around this long thank you i appreciate you listening to me give my thoughts on something that i'm very passionate about um but at the same time be sure to subscribe to this channel for more explorations discoveries and truths and more stories and uh i'll be posting a lot more content um coming up and our website is officially up so you can go check that out as well to be able to read articles read things about the limitless life women stories all this different kind of fun stuff that we are talking about and we'll continue to add more content add more content add more content um until then though thanks again for watching my name is whitney and i'm out